Let's learn some of the identities related to square roots. Now, what are identities in mathematics? What are identities in mathematics? Let's take this one. We, here we have written that under square, of, under square root of a multiplied by b is equal to square root of a is square root of b. It means that within the sum range of, you know, there can be some restrictions, some validity. There can be some restrictions. What restrictions? Like here, a and b have to be greater than zero. That is, they have to be positive real numbers. That is the restrictions. So if we fulfill this particular requirement, then whatever value you take for a and b of a and b, the right ha left hand side expression will always be equal to the right hand side expression. That is in this equation, if you fulfill this requirement, then whatever value you put for a and b, it will always be LHS will always be equal to the RHS. That is the equation will always get satisfied. That is an identity in mathematics. Okay. So the first identity is we have seen here. That is if you take a square root of a and b and a and b have to be greater than zero and positive real numbers. So square root of a multiplied by b is equal to square root of a multiplied by square root of b. It means that if you have a square root of 3 multiplied by square root of 7, it means that it is square root of 3 multiplied by square root of 7. Same thing here, if this is square root of 3 divided by 7, then this is square root of 3 divided by square root of 7. This is another identity. Here we have square root of a plus square root of b multiplied by square root of a minus square root of b and this is equal to a minus b. Now this is related to x plus y minus multiplied by x minus y is equal to x squared minus y squared. We have learned this, we learned this identity in grade 8, right? So from here, from here, this is actually, if you reiterate this one, this is actually, if you take this one as x, this one as y, then x plus y multiplied by x minus y, right? So x squared means root square root of a squared, then minus square root of b squared. So this gives you a, how a? Square root of a means square root of, sorry, square root of a squared means square root of a multiplied by square root of a minus square root of b multiplied by square root of b. So this gives you square root of a squared minus square root of b squared. So it's like square root of 3 squared is what? Square root of 3 squared, that is square root of 9 is equal to square root of 3 squared is 3. So same thing is here. Square root of a squared means a minus b. That's what it is here. This is a plus root b multiplied by a minus root b. Again, is equal to a squared minus b. Here, square root is, all, is only on b. So it is again similar to x plus y multiplied by x minus y is equal to x squared minus y squared. It's related to this identity. So here, if you take this as x, this as y, so this will be x and this will be y. So from here, if you relate to this one, x squared means what? a squared, then you have minus square root of b squared. So this is equal to a squared minus square root of b multiplied by square root of b. This is a squared minus square root of b squared. Now square root of b squared means what? This is actually equal to a squared minus b, 
right? How? Square root of 25 is equal to square root of 5 squared, that is equal to 5. We have run this, this. So this is equal to this one. This is another identity. Square root of A plus square root of B multiplied by square root of C plus square root of D will be equal to square root of AC plus square root of AD plus square root of BC plus square root of BD. Now, this is uh, related to commutative property of multiplication or, ad uh, or addition. How? So, first you take this one. This is square root of A multiplied by square root of C plus square root of D. This plus sign then this square root of b multiplied by square root of c plus square root of d. This gives you square root of a square root of c plus square root of a square root multiplied by square root of b plus square root of b multiplied by square root of c plus square root of b multiplied by square root of d. This is what this we have seen here. Right? Remember this one? So from here you get square root of AC plus square root of AD plus square root of BC plus square root of BD. This is what it is written here. Square root of A plus square root of B is this whole squared is equal to A plus 2 square root of AB plus D. This is of the form a plus sorry this is of the form x plus y whole squared is equal to x squared plus 2xy plus y squared identity we learn in grade 8 so from here if you take this as x this as y then it is under root of and square root of a squared plus Two square root of a square root of b plus square root of b squared. From here you get square root of a multiplied by square root of a plus two square root of a square root of b plus square root of b multiplied by square root of b. This will give you square root of a squared plus two square root of a b, right? Plus square root of b squared so square root of a squared means if you someone asks what is square root of 16 so square root of 16 means square root of 4 squared that is equal to 4 so from here this is a plus 2 square root of a multiplied by b plus b this is what we it's written here so these are some of the identities of square roots and the main thing is that you should know, you know, basic identities. If you know these identities, we discuss in grade 8, then you can quickly, you know, solve such problems whenever you, I mean, you have to solve these problems. You have to remember all these identities. It's really very important.